a week or so ago. Um, that Stacy asks, uh, do you know if Bolton B O L T O N 400 coax is good or not? Amazon sells it as LMR 400, or is it a scam? Is that so. the musician Bolton or the computer engineer Bolton? <laughs> I would. Oh, so come on, guy! Catch the joke! Catch the joke! We can't <laughs> that one out in advance. I looked it up. There's actually a Bolton 400 coax, and it was like 100 feet of LMR was fifty four dollars or something, some insane amount, insanely cheap amount. So, fifty cents um, a foot. Yeah, fifty cents a foot. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you. You know, it's your. Um, um LMR 400 is made by Times Microwave so there's there's you know there's there's the legit Times Microwave LMR for LMR 400 which is the stuff and then there's some private label stuff um DX Engineering sells a very good private label LMR um under their brand mm -hmm. uh Cable Expert sells an LMR 400 under their brand that's very good ABR sells an LMR under their brand that's good and then there's all of this other cheap knockoff stuff. Yeah. And, and if it's on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. If it's not Times Microwave, um, yeah. But what happens with the knockoff LMR is, is that the center core, the center conductor is copper clad aluminum. So you get the same, you get the same specs or similar specs because the foam dielectric is similar. To, to legit LMR, but the uh, copper clad aluminum makes for a cable that is very stiff. It's hard to bend. Yeah. And it's also um, more fragile. You know, if, if, if you flex it a lot, that aluminum is brittle and it's going to, it's going to break. Right. And I've, I've, I've talked to people that have used um, off-brand LMR and uh, they put it up on their tower a couple of years later, they're replacing it because it's, it, it failed on them. So, so let, let's talk a little bit. Now. So LMR, there's LMR 400, 600, 800. Um, yep. That is a yeah. mm -hmm. lower loss coax. Correct. Okay. Um, so it's lower loss than like RG8, are definitely lower losses than RG58. Mm -hmm. Now, in the HF world, do you really need LMR 400? No. Oh. Um, unless you run like a real long run out to like a, an antenna or something, then yep. then your losses may be reduced by that. But if it's twenty five or fifty feet, you don't need that. I think in the VHF world, if mm -hmm. you have a run of twenty five feet, you can get away with RG eight. Yep. I yep. think if you are in the four forty and above, then you better spend the money to get the good stuff, right? I spent I, 80, I spent eighty bucks on two feet of coax once. Yeah. Okay. So, but that was for like 10 gigahertz. Yeah. Um, I people people ask me all the time what kind of cable to get for VHF UHF, and I say if your cable run is more than 50 feet, just spend the money on LMR 400. It's the LMR 400. The times LMR 400. The yeah. Notable companies. I have bought Amazon coax. Usually, I get some RG 8x. Mm -hmm. um, it lasts me a year or two on um, part and then I usually just toss it or I cannibalize it for a project. It's cheap and if something happen, happens when I'm camping or doing a parks and yep. thing, I can just toss it. It's 25 bucks. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I'll buy it a little more investment, but it's, like you said, it's stiff. It's, it's stiff. You know, you're probably not running that through a window sill for a short period of time. No. You no. A, this is going to be a permanent install. Yep. Um, or I think it's a little bit better of an option. There's two. Usually when I buy cable, I'm buying it from from um, uh, one or two companies. Uh, either MPD Digital down in Georgia. They, they're a Times Microwave dealer. And um, Cable Experts out of Chicago. Cable, uh, yes. Cable Experts sells on Amazon, I think. Yes, they do. Both of them sell on Amazon. And I've ordered their cables through Amazon. Um because the price was the same or similar to what was on the website and it got faster shipping. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, uh, yeah, if you, if you order it, yeah, it's what look at, you know, look at the listing, you know, make sure that you get, you know, it's, it's a cable experts brand or an MPD brand or, or something. So, 
and not um, Michael Bolton brand. <laughs> so, <laughs> cause, um, yeah, the because, yeah, the software engineer, the engineer. software engineer. <laughs> Don says, stay away from copper clad aluminum wire. Uh, most speaker wires sold these days are, are copper clad aluminum. Right. I know it's, I've been looking for some uh, hookup wire, um, you know, like zip line. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you got to search to find sol the solid copper stuff. Um, so let, let's talk about wire and the conductors. Mm -hmm. um, so when we say copper clad, we have to understand that RF energy or any electricity really, that's, that is um, alternating current. Mm -hmm. and RF is an alternating current. The current flows on the surface or the skin of the conductor. Yep. So it's not necessarily the thickness of the conductor that we always look at for opacity and for resistant losses. It's the total outer surface area. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is you can get a cheap metal coated in copper, which has a yep. low loss, and you can use it. Um, Copper, there is uh, steel or copper clad steel wire. Um, yep. some, some of these are very tough. If you're using it for an antenna, they're great. But this alu aluminum can be a very brittle metal. Okay, I busted a lot of aluminum things the hard way. Mm -hmm. um, and solid wire is more brittle than stranded wire. Yep. And these are all solid conductors so I, I take a look at the specs if it says uh, copper clad aluminum unless you're willing just to take the cheap stuff for now maybe not go that route right thank you so much for the questions if you keep sending them we'll keep answering them feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below i'll filter through them and who knows yours may end up on our next your questions answered live stream our q a live streams happen on the first thursday of the month starting at seven o'clock p.m central time i hope to see you there for more articles and information along with a full line of vhf and uhf antennas for sale please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.